Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the top navigation bar of Office 365. I'll start from the left with what I would call the Start button of Office 365. And there you see links to your most common apps. I have a few there now, and that's because my SharePoint is still sitting up in the background. But as you see, if I click on one of these things, if I go into my mail, for example, thrown out into Outlook, but Outlook has the same navigation bar, so you can always get back to this Start button here. You can always also go to your Start page by clicking this Office 365. This button here is a new mail, and I can see notifications from Outlook mostly. And as you see, I get a link there to email that is showing up as a notification there. So I have a link there from mail. If I had appointments, they would show up here too. I can go to Outlook, which takes me to the mail section. So Outlook consists of these four parts in the navigation. But this take, go to Outlook takes me to the mail also. The next button here is some settings. You can change the theme. You can go into other Office 365 settings. You can, for example, click on this button, which takes you to the page where you can customize how you appear for other users in Office 365. I'll go through that in another demo. Here's the software link, which you've seen before, which allows you to install the Office 365 Pro Plus, um, but also lots of other things. The Skype for Business, the OneDrive, the tools and add-ons, desktop setup, and phone and tablet links there also. I'll we'll go back to the edit profile thing here. Um, you can select which the start page should be. So when you sign in through office.com, where, where should you go by default? You can go to the home center, which is the one that I showed you a couple of times before now. You can go directly into the admin center or directly into your mail or calendar. For most people, maybe the mail is the most important thing, so you want to go in there. I'm going to cancel that now. You can also select which notifications will show up here. So the reminders, a new email, and uh, if there, there should be a sound for that. So those are the things that you can set as notifications. Um, there's also the contact preferences, which is your alternate email address, or your business phone, and all these kind of things. This is not the same as your alternate email address or your phone number. So this is about how Microsoft is a are able to contact you. So as you see, by default, all these are blank. You might want to fill those out if you feel that you're not getting enough information from Microsoft. That's your option, of course. Then, of course, you can change the language too. It tries to pick that up from your regional settings, but if those do not apply, then you can change that here. And finally, the change password, a very important one, of course. I'm going to click on that now just to show you that you're going to be thrown out into the Accounts Active Directory Windows Azure.com website. So what's happening in the background here is that when you signed up for Office 365 with an organizational account, then you got a Windows Azure subscription in the background also. So all the password management is done by Windows Azure subscription in the background. I'm going to go through that more in some other demos also. I'm just going to cancel out of this now. And proceed further to the help. There's some help content there. The community is very active. You can get help with things in Office 365 there. There's some legal and privacy links also. I mentioned that you can up here go to your profile page, which I'll do in another demo. If you just want to change your picture, you can do that here by clicking on Change. And this is also where you sign out of Office 365, very important button up there. So thank you for watching this demo about the navigation bar in Office 365.